Hey guys, it's Chris from Nichols Retirement Empire. Uh, we went up to my mother's the other day. Uh, she's, I think I told you guys before, she's got a broken shoulder. So we went up to see her and I walked around and, and uh, she always tells me, you know, about her plants and flowers and stuff in her yard. So I went around and did a little video and showed some of them. Most of them aren't uh, blooming right now and that kind of thing, but it is, um, you know, something about being able to go around your mother's yard and look and see, you know, plants that I've given her. Uh, and she has plants that uh, belong to my my uh, grandfather on my dad's side. He he loved roses. She's got some of his roses that they had gotten out of his yard, uh, you know, before they died. And uh, he ha he always had fig trees. I wish we would have gotten some of his fig tree, uh, you know, cuttings and saved those. But he always had those two things. And then my grandmother on my mom's side, um, she was just. Uh, she could make anything grow. Uh, anytime you went around her house, she had stuff in every little jar, every little pot, uh, all in the garage, even, you know, as she got older. I mean, she kept a garden, and she really had a green thumb. Now, she could make it. She didn't know what any of it was called. <laughs> but she had stuff growing everywhere you looked. Um, you know, it's, and it's nice to be able to look back, you know, memories and stuff like that, the stuff that your family did. Um, Tammy's grandfather, I believe. Uh, what was it you said he always had? He always had. Uh, he liked gladiolas. Gladiolas. My, my papa Howard. Uh huh. So he, he always had gladiolas. So um, it's just nice to be able to go back and have uh, plants like that that you can see that belong to them. It's kind of like you know having a piece of them there. All right, I'm up here at my mama's house. She broke her shoulder, so we're making some cornbread for Daddy. Cause he can't make cornbread so we had to go up here and she had to tell me how to make her cornbread <laughs> so we can make it and we're looking at some of her flowers yep. so let's do a little garden tour we'll go around and i'm gonna look at some of the flowers she's got in her yard she's got some really pretty flowers it's all right so we ain't had no cornbread in how long two weeks two weeks no and cornbread and he's smelly cooking a little over two weeks a little over two weeks, weeks. And he's yeah. smelly cooking. so we we're got ready. some cornbread Let's look at this cornbread. Let's look at the cornbread. That one looks pretty good. That one's a little shaky. Who made that cornbread? Huh? Oh, did I make you that cornbread? You did such a good job. Wait till she gets here. You sure the soup we made her? Huh? Oh, the soup we got. They seen it live on CBC this morning. We got vegetable soup. Homemade vegetable soup. Right there. Mmm. Mmm. It's good too. Alright, now this right here, that's a binka. And she's got that back here on her back porch. It's got little pink blooms. And she says she got it for Mother's Day. So it's already got that big. It's a little old bitty. Okay. okay. And we got some geraniums. Yeah. Yeah, she's always got stuff everywhere. Let's see. A little cactus. Every little cactus. Yeah. Out here. Christmas cactus, and then what you call yeah. that? Yeah. And it's another geranium over there. Another what is this right here, Mom? Uh, I can't remember the name of it. It's pretty. It gets. Yes. Um, Every year it comes back. Yeah. Just... So if you know what the name of that is, yes. let us know. Is this lamb's ear? Over here. Uh, well, it's, uh, house leak. Is what house leak. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it don't have that fuzzy. Good, but, yeah. Okay. Yeah, those things I haven't repotted them in two or three years. These right here. They need it. Yeah, they yeah. were dianthus. Oh yeah, yeah, they'll come right back if you yeah. repot yeah. them. They'll do good. Uh huh. And then uh, pretty. We got that from. Um, my daddy's brother's uh oh uh, oh this is uh this is all the way back to her uh, mama yeah she's got these 15 years ago from her mother these lilies right here boy you can smell that all the way over here where i'm standing mm-hmm okay and she's got this little bird bath back here and she's got this and it comes back and it blooms of course a lot of this stuff she's got is not bloomed right now and these are calla lilies that she has up here in this little box 
And then over here, we have, is that a gardenia? Yeah, sorry. Got a gardenia plant. Well, that'll be pretty when it comes out. Is that for mine or is that a different one? No, that's for a different one. Okay. And then this is a rose. Now, my, my uh, papa grew roses. And this is one of his wild roses that he had, he kept on his fence. So I'm gonna have to probably get me a cutting off of that one. But Lord, he'd have so many roses. You'd look out there, he'd have, I think daddy told me he had about 50 roses just out there. <laughs> he didn't grow a whole lot of other stuff, but he grew him some roses. I wish these were blooming. There's one of those Japanese beetles right there. Mm-hmm. And she's got a big bed over here with these big old azaleas. Well, I wish they were blooming. Boy, when they bloom, they are pretty. And she's got all kind of stuff. You get around her yard, or whatever you turn, she's got something. And some of these are old. Some of these, like I said, that one over there was from my grandmother. And she's been, she's been dead a long time. Everywhere you turn, she's got something. <laughs> something growing. She's like her mom on my memo long now she had a green thumb lord she i mean everywhere you turn that's the way my mom was she had something growing in the jar or in a you know something somewhere look at that how pretty those are all these things she keeps right here around her door are always real pretty i don't know what most of this stuff is it's pretty leaves but uh mama long really Happy green thumb now. Lord. That lady and she um she uh kept stuff growing all the way up in pretty much in her nineties. I don't know what that kid's no, that's fern. Or something, I don't know what that is. I'm sure it blooms. Everything she has blooms. There's some more of those things like she had in the back. Succulents. They're off yeah this looks like it's actually gonna bloom again i guess these are nice i don't know what these are i think i bought it for <clears throat> she's got some more big azaleas out here in the front of course look at her knockout roses they put mine to shame how pretty they are there's another saw another japanese beetle just fly off there but if her shoulder wasn't messed up They'd look probably even better. She's a big old butterfly bush she's got out here. And then these amarillas, she got these from me. And these are real pretty dark red, uh, dark red amarillas. And now I don't have any more of them. Mine got run over or something. So she's got my daggone pretty amarillas up here. That's all right. She deserves more, more than I do.